welcome to my channel Likes a Look. I'm Abby, and today we're going to be doing a quick and simple tutorial on how to make a flower vase using just four simple things. So the first thing we're going to need is a glass bottle, preferably colored like this. And then we're also going to need some glow-in-the-dark fabric paint. And just a couple different nail polishes of your choice, um, but something that's going to contrast well on the glass bottle. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here is actually take the glow-in-the-dark fabric paint and just paint on a design. It could be any design that you like. Um, I'm actually just going to sort of try to do some flower designs here. And like I said, it can be any design that you like. Um, see, I'm just sort of making a flower stem right there. And there's a couple leaves. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take our first nail polish. And just paint on a little bit of a flower. And it could be any shape that you want. And really, this could be any design that you want. You could do butterflies, you could do bows, you could do polka dots, anything that you desire. I just thought since we're making a flower vase, why not keep it simple and just go with all flowers. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it quick and easy. And we're going to take our second color and just kind of dot it in the center of the flower. Just like that. And then you may want to let that dry, but just so I can show you more easily, I'm going to go ahead and actually just outline the flower as well. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of like that. And I'm just going to take a moment and continue putting a pattern on the entire vase, just so you can see what it looks like, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so after you're done painting everything, this is kind of what it should look like. Again, it doesn't have to look exactly like this one, and whatever pattern you choose to do is just fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn the light on so you can see what this looks like after you expose it to light for a few minutes. And it'll be really fun. Okay, so I realize it's a little bit difficult to see here, but if you do expose the paint long enough to the light, you'll actually get the really cool glow-in-the-dark effect. So. Here we are. Hopefully you can actually see that. And I'm just going to turn the light on so I can talk to you just a little bit more. Alright, so the longer you expose your face to the light, um, the more intense the actual glow-in-the-dark effect will be. And I was actually inspired by one of my subscribers to do this particular tutorial because I saw that she actually did a glow-in-the-dark nail tutorial. So I'll link that down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you decide to give this a try, I would love to see some video responses. I hope you're all enjoying your day, and take care, everyone.